friends today we are going to discuss about another important topic from green chemistry that is ionic liquids so let's begin so what are the ionic liquids and why consider all ionic liquids the characteristics of uh, properties of ionic liquid the synthetic methods and the organic synthesis using ionic liquids those things we will discuss in this lecture so definition of ionic liquid is simply they are liquids that are composed of entirely ions okay so the liquids which contains ions is called as ionic liquid in the broader sense this term includes all the molten salts for instance if we take sodium chloride that is nacl at temperature higher than 800 degree it will be in the liquid form that will be said as ionic liquid but friends above 800 degree liquids are not uh, of any use for us so let's see what are the room temperature ionic liquids so what is the driving force or why the ionic liquids are very important because you know that the <coughs> volatile organic solvent are toxic and hazardous they cause serious environmental issues such as atmospheric uh, emission and contamination of aqueous effluents okay so the driving force in the quest for the novel reaction media that is uh, we need to search for greener process and that's why ionic liquids come into picture recycling uh, rec recycling of uh, homogeneous catalyst is another uh, use of ionic liquids so friends as we are discussing green chemistry topic as we discuss the 12 principle of green chemistry the key to waste minimization is ionic liquids that's why we are considering ionic liquids uh, as a green reactant or solvent the key to waste minimization in chemical manufacture is the substitution of classic that is stoichiometric synthesis by atom economy atom efficiency catalytic alternatives and minimization of energy resources so okay so this is why the green solvent or ionic liquids are very very valuable for the organic synthesis so friends typical room temperature ionic liquid consist of bulky and asymmetric organic cation such as imidazolium ion pyridinium ion ammonium ion and phosphonium ion so uh, there are two types of uh, ions there are one is cation as you can see the imidazolium pyridinium ammonium and phosphonium what are the cations uh, we generally use in the ionic liquids so uh, this is a pf6 minus bf4 minus and so on okay so these are the common uh, anions we use in the ionic liquids cations are these heterocyclic and and nitrogen containing compounds and anions are pf6 even cl minus is a simple anion used in the formation of ionic liquids later on we will see, see the synthesis of ionic liquid so friends before we go for the synthesis of ionic liquid let's see why they are very very important for our uh, organic synthesis or how we can use this ionic liquid in the organic synthesis so uh, we are going to see uh, some important reactions in which we are using ionic liquids so uh, we will uh, use this in the transition metal catalyst reaction carbocation chemistry separation electrochemistry and photochemistry so let's see one by one so first reaction is diels alder reaction so some of uh, the researcher have used ionic liquid for the transformation of this cyclopentadiene <coughs> and methyl acrylate ester into the diacylder adduct so friends if we use ionic liquid at room pressure room pressure we can carry out this reaction and you can see here if we use bm im bf4 without any compo composition of uh, alcl3 we get 91 percentage of endo product okay uh, 91 uh, percentage of endo product so friends you can see here what we get endo selectivity highly polar solvents increase in the reaction rate 
allows water sensitive reagent to be used as you can see that most of the time we uh, need to use water or uh, similar like solvent so if we use ionic liquid we can use the water sensitive reagent for this reaction simple workup we just need to filter out or sometime uh, evaporate or sometime just decant it so ionic ionic liquid can be reuse they can they are recyclable so we can use it in uh, multiple times so this is how this type of ionic liquid catalyzed or ionic liquid induced diacylary reactions are of great importance then let's go for the next reaction aldol condensation most of uh, my student have already did this reaction in the laboratory it is very simple reaction of inelogable ketone and the aldehyde in presence of aqueous NaOH we generally use solvent and reflux for 3 to 4 hours to get our typical uh, charcoal or I will say aldo product but if we use the ionic liquid what is the most important uh, feature of this using ionic liquid is conversion is 100% as the aqueous phase and this organic uh, reagents are soluble in the ionic liquid as both are soluble in ionic liquid we get higher percentage of the higher percentage of the product so this is how the ionic liquids are very useful in the aldol condensation the next reaction is hydrogenation reaction that is using uh, hydrogen gas and metal so typical hydrogenation reaction are carried out uh, in presence of hydrogen gas and palladium catalyst or palladium on charcoal if we use or if we replace palladium uh, by the <coughs> another uh, ionic liquid and another kind of uh, metal then we get higher percentage of uh, product as well as we get good selectivity or i will say good enantiomeric access so friends you can see here if we use uh, if we do the uh, hydrogenation of this carbon carbon double bond in presence of h2 ruthenium chloride and ionic liquid then we get this typical reduction of this double bond and conversion is almost 100 to 90 percent and we get 80 to 85 percent of enantiomeric access the advantages of this uh, method is it is a two phase system simple workup that is just we need to decant the ionic liquid uh, to separate out from the product so uh, ionic liquid are uh, used as catalyst and uh, they are recyclable now next reaction is Heck reaction as you can as you already know Heck reaction is a reaction between substituted olefin or I will say uh, substituted alkyl halide or unsaturated alkyl halides this unsaturated alkyl halide will react with the alkene and forms the substituted olefin this is the Heck reaction and it is catalyzed by palladium so some of the scientists have replaced this palladium uh, catalyst also some of the scientists replace the phosphine which we use uh, in the Heck reaction so this reaction is phosphine free that is without phosphine this is carried out uh, in uh, ionic liquid and we found that it almost gives us 100 percent yield for the Heck reaction so another Heck reaction is over here and here you can see that we get higher selectivity simple workup that is just by distillation we can get the product so higher Regio selectivity that means we get almost 70 to 80 percent e to z ratio and then alpha beta is almost 75 to <coughs> 75 to uh, sorry 99 to 1 percent okay and percentage uh, of y is almost 95 percent so we get higher selectivity that is 99 as to 1 if we compare other solvents like dimerso and toline we get 50 50 or 75 to 25 percent of regio selectivity so friends the next reaction is still a coupling as you know that it is a reaction between organotin compound and uh, unsaturated alkyl halides 
so if we do same reaction in presence of ionic liquid we get higher percentage and the we can avoid the tedious workup the extraction is a simple workup for this kind of stellate coupling so these are very important as you already know these are the very important reaction in organic synthesis and can be easily carried out uh, by using ionic liquids the next reaction is uh, very well known that is friedel-crafts reaction or friedel's cup isolation so if we use uh, copper triflate and uh, ionic liquid we can uh, easily convert this re reactant into this ketone so this is a typical friedel crafts reaction of anisole with benzoyl chloride and we get this uh, <coughs> this kind of ketone so the use of ionic liquid is uh, uh, gives us quantitative yield that, that is almost 100% we can get from the reaction and the reject selectivity is very high for the friedel crafts reaction the next is uh, simple reaction that is conversion of uh, C, uh, CHO that is aldehyde uh, into alcohol that is a reduction of aldehyde to alcohol. If we use uh, this kind of ionic liquid you can see that almost at room temperature we can convert it into 94% but if we slightly increase the temperature the time uh, is reduced to 16 hours. So if we, you don't want to uh, waste the energy, you just keep the reaction uh, at room temperature for 48 hours and you get 94% of reduction. Now the uh, last few reactions, chlorination also get very short time and high yield and then ring opening reaction. There are so many reactions in organic synthesis which we can carry out by using this ionic liquids Lord, let's see how the ionic liquids are synthesized typically you you can see here this is the longest alkene chain or alkyl halide which is reacted with the imidazole uh, that is a uh, two one methyl imidazole and this reaction is typically take almost 72 hours to get this kind of ionic liquid that is uh, this uh, name of this ionic liquid is 1-butyl 3-methyl imidazolium hexafluorophosphate chloride or phosphate uh, instead of phosphate you can use chloride so this is a hexafluoro or i will say chloride okay so this kind of instead of uh, cl minus you can use pf6 or pf4 minus for uh, as an anion so this kind of cations of imidazole are used for the preparation of ionic liquids so this ionic liquid is typically a viscous colorless and hydrophobic and uh, non water soluble ionic liquid so uh, this is typical uh, properties for the ionic liquids so friends there are so many uh, ionic liquids instead of cl minus pf4 minus uh, you can uh, pf6 now you, you, you have uh, pf6 over here pf4 over here as we can change the different kinds of anions and we can keep the same cation so as we change the uh, anion the properties of this ionic liquid changes so this is very useful property of this ionic liquid so this is all about the ionic liquids their synthesis and application in organic chemistry so uh, this uh, if you have any uh, doubt regarding ionic liquid, feel free to ask me. Thank you very much.